the world is not the same as it was when we were children in the 70s and even less so in the 1950s. In those days, children could get on their bikes and ride wherever they wanted to go, basically on the infrastructure we have now. But then there wasn't two million people in Miami-Dade County. To achieve that same level of mobility, we have to provide more formal places for people to ride bikes, to walk. I think that families and children don't feel comfortable in a traffic lane without a barrier. And so I think uh, protected lanes where we can put them or even shared use paths are great infrastructure that accommodate the widest range of users. I don't believe that every street has to have a bicycle lane or a sidewalk, but there have to be corridors that may be more uh, accommodating for those types of things. So you've got your transportation third affairs, your major corridors, and maybe you go off of that on parallel roads and take some of the asphalt or the capacity for automobiles and give it over to a bicycle or pedestrian. Right now we think of capacity as in moving cars, which is a, uh, a self-defeating way of thinking about it. It's about moving people. That is critical to retrofit our infrastructure with so that people can travel better. Letting the traffic free flow where it needs to, but finding the right place for the cyclists and the pedestrians.